What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel for another Battlefront 2 video. Um, today we're doing Finn's Hero Guide. Um, I did just want to say that I didn't plan on leaving for a month, um, but then, you know, things just kind of stacked on top of one another. Um, but I am back and I will be continuing these until I've got every hero and villain done. And uh, I'll likely be moving on to different types of videos. So rather than these tutorials, it'll probably be like gameplay, um, maybe funny moments again like I did with uh, Fortnite back when I played with my regular squad. Um, we'll, we'll possibly look into doing things like that or maybe even walkthroughs, um, go finish up Fallout or, or maybe even, uh, oh man, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Um, but it's not important because this video is about Finn. So what to say about Finn? He is a very laid back hero. Um, he's one of those that I'll never play in Heroes vs. Villains ever. Um, he's just not going to be my go-to character for that game mode. I hate him in that game mode. In every other game mode, shit, he's great. Trooper-based game modes, that man can slay. And it's all because of this one um, ability right here. Okay, well, not right here, but, like, this is the abilities. This is the star card. Ugh, this is a star card for the ability. The ability is Deadeye, and that is his best ability. So, as you can see, all three of the star cards that I have selected for him are to improve his Deadeye ability because it absolutely shreds. You don't even need to aim. I mean, okay, look, you kind of have to aim. You got to aim in their general direction. But if you hit this big red square that's going to be highlighting the person you're aiming at, that's it. The bullet is going to curve and hit them. It's like aimbot. It's so beautiful. Everybody knows aimbot. Come on. If you played Modern Warfare 2 back back when the hackers were starting to take over, you've experienced aimbot in one way or another. And it's so easy. You just shoot in the general direction and the bullet automatically locks on and hits that person. It's it's gorgeous. Um, but that's not the only star card, so let's move on to the next one. Stay calm. And, uh, I mean, I'll leave it up there for a second so y'all can read it. But, again, I can't stress to you how much of a, a big deal. <laughs> that's funny because that's one of his other um, abilities. How much of a big deal his Deadeye ability actually is. Um, if you're playing Finn to get high kill streaks and a ton of kills, and, I mean, first, you're already using him wrong. That's not really what he's intended to be used for unless you're just absolutely hammering that Deadeye ability. But if you're playing him to be, like, the the ultimate officer in the entire game. Like the officer is basically set up to support all its surrounding troops. It does best when it sticks with its teammates that are around him because that officer, I guess male or female, they got both, both different characters in there um, for you to play as. But male or female, you play as an officer and if you are around your teammates, you can boost them with your middle ability. It will either give them more health, it will allow their abilities to come out of recharge and I guess come back to life quicker so they can use them again or it will give them unlimited gun stamina for a certain period of time and then it goes back to normal and those are all very very helpful but only if you actually have teammates to boost. Finn has an ability that's almost the exact same it's called Big Deal. It will boost the health around his little aura I guess there's like a little circle around him. It'll boost everybody within that little circle it'll give them the unlimited blaster cooling and then it'll also give them just a little bit of health and I know it doesn't sound like a, a huge deal because it's a little bit of health and it's just more bullets that your teammates can fire but let's just say you're in galactic assault for example and you're you're trying to lock down this one position and you've got maybe 10 teammates surrounding you and you're all trying to hold it down if you boost those 10 teammates they're now 10 people that are stronger than they were before because you're playing as Finn and you're giving them that little boost. So it, it really does start to add up the more teammates that you play around and especially in those really tight close quarters combat scenarios. Maybe not so much in in supremacy unless you're on the, the aircraft carriers, um, the, big, the big ships. Um, unless you're up in the shuttles, you know, that might be a good situation because it's close quarters. But a lot of uh, supremacy is really out in the open, so you might not want to use Finn for that kind of situation. But that does bring us to our final Finn star card, which is going to be raised to do one thing. And again, it really just enhances his dead eye ability and the increased lock on radius 25% I, I mean it sounds decent but it, it really helps a lot more than you're thinking it, it does because it's it's already a pretty big lock on radius I guess if there's any card that you're going to swap out it'd probably be this one 
just because his ability is already pretty good without the star cards they just make them they just make it that much better the one star card i wouldn't recommend you ever swap out for on his dead eye ability at least is the one that allows him extra time for every enemy he defeats with Deadeye active. I think it's an extra 40% in Deadeye that it'll extend its time. That one is crucial because you can just keep Deadeye going, especially if you're in Galactic Assault or if you're in a, a close quarters. I think this is actually Supremacy here. Um, oh no, this is co-op. But um, if you're in close quarter situations with Deadeye and you're able to just absolutely melt through your enemy, I mean, right here, there's so many enemies. I didn't know. I didn't know who to start shooting at to begin with, but I ended up picking some targets, and you can see I just keep extending my Deadeye because I'm going for the smaller targets, and then once I have full Deadeye, that's when I aim at the bigger targets. So that's a little strategy I use to, to keep my Deadeye ability active longer. Now, eventually you will find that you'll run out of Deadeye. Um, you'll probably see it happen to me here because that, uh, that Flame Trooper was quite heavy in health um once you run out of dead eye it's not a big deal but i usually like to make sure that i also have my big deal um ability just ready to go in the background if it's not ready to go then i switch to his little pistol ability it's on the right oh, man i'm blanking on the name of it but um yeah as long as you've got an ability to switch to after dead eye is done it's not a big deal it's just you want to make sure you've got big deal available for you to use after Deadeye runs out because that one will allow you to recharge that ability faster but you can see right now it's already recharging pretty quick considering the fact that i don't have any extras going on right now i don't have any speed boost this is just the normal rate of acceleration and then you see once i activated big deal it went way quicker so just keep in mind the situations that you're going to be in and make sure you've always got a backup plan if you ever do run out of an ability or if you um if you just get really, really low on health and you need to activate Big Deal to get a little bit of additional health to maybe get out of a, a sticky situation. Other than that, Finn is pretty self-explanatory. You pretty much stick with your team the whole time. Um, there's a... I don't know what it is, but anytime Finn is near blaster heroes, I'm talking Finn, Leia... or Sorry, not Finn. Han, Leia, uh, Chewbacca... Why am I, I? I am blanking so much in this video, but any of the blaster heroes, he gives a huge boost to. And, I mean, part of it is yes, because he gives them unlimited blaster cooling for a short period of time with his big deal ability. But he also gives them a boost in their health. And I think a lot of the heroes already have a decent bit of health. So if they're getting any sort of boost at all, whether it be from Finn or Yoda's health um, ability... Then, then that's just going to help your team that much more. I think heroes really sway the game. Um, if it's if it's a hero that doesn't know what they're doing, then it's going to be a little bit tougher. But if you've got some heroes that really know their stuff and they know how to push and they know how not to push, because um, knowing how not to push is a big deal as well. If you push too aggressively with Finn, you will die very quick. Um, I've said this about a couple heroes, but I really think it applies to most of them, and especially so with Finn. If you don't stick with your team, don't expect to get tons of, of kills without dying. Um, you will die quite frequently if you're not with your team quite often throughout your your gaming experience. So, so try and stick with your team as often as you can. And uh, that's really all I've got to say about Finn. There's not much to him other than make sure you've got a backup plan for when his abilities run out, you're sticking with your team, and you use the hell out of Deadeye because that ability is amazing. Other than that, I, uh, I wish you all well when you're using Finn, and I hope to see you out on the battlefield. Peace.